Welcome to video number 25 and in this video we'll go one step further in the pagination and this uh, level will try to improve our paging alright so how can we do the paging in SSRS so if you're following along from the last uh, video you might have seen uh, for this one I mean the basic things we have done for like added a data set once the data set was ready we put the data into this you know the columns and we did the preview which was like this but uh, the cool part was this one two three which is coming up as a serial number which came automatically using a function now you need to select uh, expression FS expression and you can see <coughs> the the one two three till I don't know how long you're seeing it but uh, this is what it does right because of this you're getting those numbers one two I don't know 45 yes <clears throat> alright so but this is not what we want uh, let's say I have a thing in my mind that I only want you know the 10 records per page I don't want to see like you know more than 40 or 50 records so what can we do so for that what you need to do is you need to choose uh, expression alright this is important because uh, you are going to group the things based on something unique and there is something unique and our uh, this whole design is the serial number right they are unique so make sure you select them correctly if you don't so it's alright let's start from the beginning let's say you are just viewing the report and accidentally you hit something like this this is a content alright so you can hit an escape button and get a hold of you know uh, this box as soon as this box appears what you have to do is you can see you know right below that there's a row groups and there's a details you need to right click you need to say add a group a parent group then for group by you got plenty of option but we don't want any of those we want to do our custom things so in order to make your life easier I'm gonna start with easy again row number nothing alright and you'll say hey this is the same shit alright so let's go one step further you wanted to group the things you wanted to see the pages uh, I mean 10 pages per record so let's do 10 alright so you saying now alright we are going somewhere alright then uh, you need to okay you need to go to the common functions there's a math and there's a ceiling function you can read the description about that how it works all right but it helps me you know to give me uh, a correct result so i'll choose ceiling and the same thing is uh, you've already here again right so this is okay let's hit okay let's hit okay again and let's try to preview <coughs> alright you're getting an error you're getting an error that row number cannot be used in the sort expression so what you can do is group properties come to the sorting and there is something so which you need to delete hit ok save it and let's preview again voila you're getting some records in the same way but the first column is pretty weird it shows like you know one interesting the group one then there's group two then there's group three I don't understand what's going on alright so this is kind of the stuff you need you have grouped your whole data into you know uh, with the help of row number if I go next page further I can see the six seven eight everybody is grouped correctly but the only difference what you see is uh, 1 to 10 belongs to group 1 11 to 20 belongs to group 2 and so on alright so now what just happened is like you know uh, this expression over here we wrote this function you know uh, I'm sorry where are you alright expression okay so this is what we wrote and as you all know the row number is something like you know we get the generally SQL reporting service gets the data from the data set and the reporting service try to render you know the data row by row so row number comes in the picture and trying to put one two three in the sequence as it gets rendered right so what I'm do, trying to do over here is like you know I'm trying to let's say you are the row number one one divide by ten if you say then you'll get uh, you know uh, the quotient as zero so and if you do the ceiling you'll end up being one alright 
so it's pretty close there then you think of 9 9 again you divide by 10 again you'll get the quotient as 0 so now you're going to the group 1 so if you think of the same as 19 divided by 10 you're getting quotient as 1.9 which is pretty close uh, to 2 so you are in the group of 2 if you're going by 23 then 23 divided by 10 is like again you get the quotient of 2.3 which is above uh, you know 2 so you'll be end up in the group of 3 alright so this is how it works uh, so let's preview it again so like I talked about 19 19 is like you know uh, <clears throat> 19 divided by 10 is like again you get the quotient of 1.9 Mm, 19 divided by 10 right 1.9 that's correct so that's what you're gonna get and which is belongs to group 2 and 23 belongs to group 3 so that's how it works alright so now uh, we don't want to see this uh, groups alright group is one way of illustrating a data like okay I'm capable of grouping so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete the column and I need to make sure that I don't choose the first option I choose the second option only and it's gone next thing uh, let's save and let's preview nothing has changed everything was like the previously what it was so now comes the magic part you need to select the group one at the bottom you need to select the properties you need to select the page break only hit the first checkbox OK and hit OK and now let's preview voila now that's what you want right the first to 10 second page you're getting 10 records next page 11 to 20 records 30 records and this is what you want this is cool sorting right but uh, we have one tiny problem you seeing the headers over here which gets disappear in the next page so don't worry we'll get to that in the last video but for now this is cool now you have a control over complete control over paging right so this is pretty cool in the next video what I'll try to show you is uh, you know uh, over here uh, what hap what what is happening is you know this expression is not dynamic I'm doing the paging by 10 in the next I will show you how can you add a parameter let the user add a parameter and they'll do the paging according to their need so it becomes very comfortable for a user alright so I hope you like this video and you understand it very clearly in case of any problems or doubts comments are most welcome uh, if you li like this video then please subscribe to my channel and subscribe I'm sorry uh, share this video with your friends and thank you for watching this and good night and take care